Yo. What? So let everybody jump on in first. Going on. Scroll up because I know there was a comment that I wanted to talk about. Scroll away for them. Jump on them. I know, but I don't see it. I don't want to see it. Hold on. Let me make sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Read comments over there. Can you read it over there. I'll make it big. Because all the windows be on that one screen, it'd be like a lot. Yo, what's going on? So we on here, we are on here, man. One to first say thank y'all. Welcome. On this beautiful Veterans Friday, man. Shout out to all the vets. Shout out. Because without, without the vets, almost definitely. Then you can't live like how we couldn't be around here like how we live it. So true. So, happy Friday, great people. Yes, happy Friday, great people. What we want to do, we're just going to read off, you know, because I haven't got a chance to look at the comments lately. So I wanted to just go live with the comments and see what people are talking about. Um, in this one to shout you guys out and say what's up and let's dive in. Scroll down. What? Let's see. There's one person that was talking you about. You talking about the stuff at the top? That. Yeah, yeah, that one. What? So that it's first that. first comment. This one? Uh huh. From Papa Lega Leg and Squat. Pop, uh, gross. Papa Leg and Squat. Okay, go ahead and read the comment, babe. Um, what does it say? My surname is the same as that of an ancient king of Ireland, not because I'm a descendant, but rather because my forefathers were owned by the king and I'm white. So slavery doesn't discriminate by skin type, religion, or nationality. In ancient times, slavery was worldwide. In recent times, it's been mostly eradicated, but the world needs to look to certain countries to completely end this adherent practice in all forms. Yeah, yeah, uh, I can... Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Yeah, we are aware of yeah, uh, Papa uh, Lady Squat that slavery was was a worldwide um, tradition. Pretty much every planet, I mean planet, every, every country, planet, every country, you know, utilized slavery, the form of slavery, yes. and whether it came down to indentured servants, whether it came down to the mistreatment of slaves, we know that it was a common trade practice all across the world yeah slavery was everywhere so man. we definitely definitely can can agree with that all right i'm gonna jump down to one of these other videos because it's i'm gonna jump down to it look like this one we just did recently what he's saying is so i guess when we did one with the one with brock single-handedly tried to destroy the american um economy okay henry jones henry jones said what he's saying is the liberals use the courts to pass their leftist agenda because they know majority Americans would not agree with them. Love you guys. Keep up the good work. Love you for life. Love you too, Henry Jones. But now I agree with you. They know that this group of people that has not educated themselves on politics and blue or red are all going to go here and then they're going to be like how Joe Biden said. What he said on there? If you're not, if you're not black, then if you know not vote for me, you're not black. And then that's the mind thinking. Oh, all Democrats vote up here, and so they use that, and then they push all these agenda agendas out, thinking they're to help you. But there's a particular reason why they're putting these putting these agendas out, and and what happens is it's already too late. By the time people realize what didn't happen, it's it's done. You've already been a part of that. They've already made the agenda off and the back of you, yeah. and you and it's already said and done. Like this midterm election, man, I bro, I was you know it's certain people like I'm gonna say you know be honest with you, I'm I'm happy. Um, I'm happy to stay Stacey Abram is losing. Hey, what's up? Your boy here all all here all from the South Africa. Shout out South Africa. What's SA. going on? Hey Chris, what's going on? Shout what's out on? Chris from the SA. Shout out from Chris from the SA. We just talking about Thanks looking at these comments. Yeah, we just commenting we just commenting to y'all's comments. You know, just giving y'all some, some feedback and you know, chiming in, just letting you know letting you guys know how much we really appreciate you and just want to come on here and have some dialogue with some of your comments. So if you see some other your what's friends, up, what's up, Pamela? Hop on and you know just dive into conversation. We're just reading comments. We, that's in. it. Just reading comments off here. I'm just going to different videos. But what I will say too is that you know this is also helping us for you know me educate myself up on politics because I haven't been into politics my whole life until 
when Obama ran, it was like, yeah, yeah, you're a black man running for president, I'm, I'm just gonna vote for him. And then when Trump ran, that's when I started to really want to care about, and even on the local level, not just presidency, but even on the local level. Macon, Georgia, what's up? What's up, GA, baby? What's going on? We hey, Pamela. That's home. That's Atlanta, Georgia. All my folks from South Georgia, Pelham, Cairo, Thomasville. Can't but we from, but we from, we from Atlanta. But all of, all my family is from South Georgia. Um, but I wanted to say too, you know, it just made me want to really, you know, learn. So I've been doing my homework. I really want to be clear as to what the difference um, between a liberal, um, a conservative, and you know, a Republican. So I'm. We're still learning, but I'm really more intentional and want to know more so I can make an educated, you know, decision based off of facts and not just what everybody else is doing. Yeah. 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 And I bet there's probably been a bit wonder what caused the content. Why did we shift content? And I was thinking the, why we shift a lot of our content is because we wanted to, there was a lot of things going on here in the country that we wanted to start focusing on and our, start educating ourselves on. And then we, as, we, as we start educating ourselves on certain things, we wanted y'all to see us being educated. You get what I'm saying? Because there's so much right here on, on at home that we just don't know. And it's just, and it didn't take long for us to start making certain decisions from what we had been making, how we were thinking for years. You, get, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Runny so, nose. Runny nose. Okay. Running no, no, you don't. Know, so he didn't read his. Milton Freeman. So we did these ones with Milton Freeman regarding the Great Depression, um, but for some reason y'all didn't really y'all like some Milton Freemans, but y'all didn't jump on a lot. But so, but he said Milton Freeman was a national treasure. Be sure to check out his series Free to Choose, which first aired on PBS. A book allowed followed of the same name, which is um, also okay. worth reading. Okay. Milton Freeman is awesome. It's so interesting that Milton 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 Freeman is the by him being the um, who Thomas Soul studied from. You need to have have the schoolwork ready, man. You come to class without a pencil. So so Milton Freeman, man, I, I like how um, for some reason I don't know what y'all y'all don't seem like y'all want to see us do the Milton Freemans, but then Thomas Soul studied from Milton Freeman. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting, trying to. Well, let's check these out and see what you guys think. And, you know, keep dropping your recommendations because, you know, we, we listen, we watch. So if you want to learn and keep growing and, you know, also helping you grow, that's what, what it's about. Oh, the, wait, wait, wait. You said, hold on, Rick, you said the quality sound bad. We, yeah, because we ain't got our daggone mics on. Nobody hanging by you. Oh, oh man. Thank you, Richard. And shout out to Richard, man. Richard always be jumping on. And I'll, I mean, he always gives um, great comments and a lot of educational um, responses in the comment section. So sorry, guys. <laughs> We're sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, but shout out, shout out to Richard. And he, I, it's a lot of Richard comments that I go and I read and I educate myself just based on his comments. Okay, hope this is better. Hope this is better. What necklace? I ain't got a necklace on. What necklace? I got a necklace on, but it shouldn't be interfering with this. Oh. <laughs> you got a necklace? Yeah, I got it. Oh. So we're just going out here reading these comments down in, um, in the comment section. And I said, um, so the last we looked at was Milton Freeman. We looked at a Milton. We've been looking at Milton Freeman videos because this stuff is super educational. Um, let me see who else down there. Let me roll down to another video that uh, Federal Reserve Bank isn't. Federal is not. Federal Reserve Bank is really just. Privately owned. Privately owned, yeah. Let me go down to the comment section. That's a lot of comments down here. I think it take a minute to load all these comments. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. What? So what more? What videos do y'all like? Do y'all like these educational um, um, reactions that we're doing? Is this something else y'all want us to see us doing in this space? You know, it's. You know what? What do y'all want? What do y'all want to see more of? Yeah, I saw that comment at the very top. That is correct. You What's said up? Milton up? Freeman was Thomas Sowell's uh, mentor. Let that sink in. You're right. Let me see. What is that? You're, you're showing the quality of the character. Do you feel like... Oh, he must be commenting on yeah, somebody else's... Yeah, there's some people some going at it on something. Else. Yeah, it'd be interesting when you see multiple people going at it under a comment. Mm -hmm. um, the Fed 
has no problem printing 45 billion for Ukraine. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like how they made so much. It's like so much money gets sent off, but then it's so much that we need here locally. Send okay, I understand why they send certain money to a certain place, but don't be where we just really need it. And then now we didn't get those funds. You know, we need the money here. Mm -hmm. We do need the money here. Let me yeah. see. That's a really old video right there. And shout out to all my vets. Shout out to all the vets. Shout out to all the vets that served, man. We appreciate y'all. Let's go. We appreciate y'all, man. I call my dad, man. My dad is. My dad served and retired. He said, You two agree with that man, so everyone else is wrong. That is his opinion. You two nuts agree with that man, so everyone else is wrong. What does that mean? I don't understand. I don't know. We have to go back and see what he's even talking about. Rich, I see one of your comments right here. Obama wanted an arbitrary and um, capricious. capricious constitution. So is talking about justice, which is essential, more fair since everyone is equal under the law. Obama wanted some people more equal than others. When Obama was running, they were saying he was a constitutional scholar. As a... Um, constitutionalist who first studied the constitution 60 years ago i was interested in, interested in what he had to say about it i'm still waiting i <laughs> i doubt he was a true constitutional scholar since he can't resist talking about the constitution since we can't resist, since we can't res resist talking about the constitution i was gonna say richard man he got to be you he, he's got to be a i, I that makes sense because he be hitting i'm like man you need to you need to um get your videos and put your content up there man is got there a lot um, of information? Is there a uh, place? Because I was just thinking about, I would like to be more uh, versed in the Constitution. Is there? A, do you have recommend a go-to place for information on you know being able to break down the Constitution? Like a video? Because I've been looking at like videos trying to break it down, because... or just an article, a place to go that you know a blog or another website. Um, I've just been going to YouTube and learning about. You more so learn about the Constitution. Okay. Do y'all have like another somewhere where y'all recommend where you really get a good breakdown and understanding of the Constitution? Richard, if you're still there, let's see what else. Oh, we Pamela said we sound much better. We yeah, yeah. Them them, them Somebody forgot were, <laughs> we we forgot hey, the mic. Them, sorry. Them mics were hanging down at the desk. <laughs> so sorry. We about to switch that up too. We gonna get better mic set up and stuff too, and so the experience can be better. What does that say? I was educated in private school. This is Mary, Mary um, Riley. She said I was educated. I was educated in private school. My uh, parents can barely afford it, but they managed it. There I learned not only had slavery always existed, but it still exists. Yes. The British and the colonial Americans did not invent slavery. It has always existed throughout the world. Agree. African kings and princesses um, made big money on selling your people to Dutch traders. I we know that yep. and that is true. Yep. My own ancestors Italian have slave ancestors in it showing from West Africa in my DNA analysis. Mm, yeah. yeah. We are we are we are very aware that um the start of slavery and it, it's been around, you know, in every country there was a form of slavery. Yeah, I mean, it was a it was a world it was a world renowned tradition across the globe. But that's not how the world presents it. The world wants you to feel that feeling. Only of, wants of, you to focus on how blacks were mistreated in, in Western culture, and that and that keeps a lot of black people back. That's kept a lot of people black people back. Um, but these newer generation that's coming up, they ain't really thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They kind of like anti everything, like whatever you believe and whatever you thought, we against it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they ain't even they ain't even moving like that. But um, I want to read this one right here. Which one? Is Triumph, that? right up under it. Triumph. Okay, go ahead. Everyone who preaches against white supremacy fails to realize that it doesn't matter who is in power. Mankind, excuse me, is corruptible, regardless of your outward appearance. So to pretend that handing over power to any other race will result in a perfect utopia is foolishness. Okay. Go over to China and see how their powerful men treat their own and tell them they need less white supremacy. Serious. The lack of thought people give this is astonishing because their worldview has been 
warped by lies and delusions of self-righteousness. She's talking about her. Mm -hmm. But you know, man, when she was talking, anybody that starts talking about, let me tell you, I, I'm just saying, when everybody, somebody, first thing they come out and say, a cis male, I already know that you own that, you own the Kool-Aid, you and drunk the Kool-Aid, and then you over here, over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't. We don't. Um, she had certain points that I could understand, but I wasn't really digging her her base of her model of yeah. where she was going with what she was saying. So, yeah, I, I can I can feel you, Triumph. I can feel you. Right. Let me see. It was something somebody said to check out. KGB. I K it said, I recommend you watch KGB Detector. Uh, Warned into America, 1984. He worked with um, propaganda for KGB and Soviet. Very interesting. Okay, I'll take a look at writing that down. Uh -huh. So as y'all making these suggestions, we write them down too, and I go and look at them and stuff too. KGB. And do y'all like the um? Are y'all liking the Thomas Soul? What else y'all want to see? What else y'all want to see in addition? Because I I don't want to. We're, we're getting educated by watching a lot of the time of souls, but we don't want to drown y'all out to where you're like, okay, well, I'm, you know, I've seen one too many. So what, what else do you want to see? Do you want to see more Thomas soul stuff? What do you want? What do you want to see, um, politically? Um, and then we'll check it out. And a lot of times we'll, we'll go and do it. So, you know, post in a comment, you know, what y'all want to, what y'all want us to do. I also like trending topics too. You know? I like some, some trending topics, yeah. some political trending topics. Um, like and the whole thing. With throwing the some humor in every now and then. We still do, guys, because, you know, we love humor. But it's, it's a little different now, you know, as we continue to, you know, allow God to work over in us. We're just kind of zooming into some of the content that we um, react to and even we, watch outside of yeah. reaction. Yeah, we want really. to focus more on serious matters, man, because things things are changing in this world and it's time to hone in oh judge joe brown is donald trump racist have you did you know that if you if you haven't checked out judge joe brown is donald trump racist judge joe joe brown did something what he did a reaction okay, to it let's check that out let me go back and see y'all gonna tell me that donald trump is racist sit down stop it, <laughs> stop it. sit down richard said there are only seven articles but only the first four congress president supreme court the state and most widely discussed okay okay i yeah because i need a full breakdown to be able to break it down it need to be like not as complicated because sometimes certain when you read in the constitution from its original form it's really jargony and then your brain can't put together what you're reading because it's got it's got a lot of jargon base so i'm just trying to get the more simple give me give me the one that you get to the kids give me the one you get to the kids okay i got that i got those some on the Trump and Candace Owens feuding. Trump has an ego and does like does not like to admit when wrong. I'm sure he and Candace will make it up. Yeah, yeah. I thought, you know, and that with that whole thing with Trump and Candace, I feel like Trump need to be mindful because, like I said, Candace is an ally. So you want to be mindful because when voting, when it's starting to vote again, you don't want people to say, "Okay, I'm leaving for here and going to this side." Because that can be easily done, and people switch over just because just they because. don't want to vote for him. Yeah, and I, I agree. He did and, and, and does and has shown a really hard time when it comes to admitting his faults. But I feel the same way. I'm hoping that it'll be something that they can squash and move on because she advocated for him, you know, like wholeheartedly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she has. And one, one thing I can say that I like about her is that she's going to really do her research and yeah. dig deep before she just jumps on the bag bandwagon and support a person that's why i like too she gets all the facts i yeah, love it when people have really, real information because you don't have you don't have to worry about a feeling when you got a fact i may not agree with everything that she um reports or how she may report certain things but when it comes to doing the research and kind of digging in to get the information that's one thing that I can say I really like about like, her. Like with BLM, I didn't know. So, some okay, Jay Lee said, because I, I just skimmed my ass skimmed, saw BLM at this bottom. It says, another great video is G. Edwards Griffin 
more deadly than war. He explains how communists used the black community to spark their revolution. It's from 1973, but it's like he's explaining BLM. Mm. See, yeah, I, I mean, all right, because then we don't really, as the community, black community isn't really reading stuff. They just going with the flow. And I just zoomed in. I pulled up, I was going to react to it, but I don't want to, if y'all don't want to see that, I don't know, because it seems like, I don't know if the BLM thing is starting to get, get quiet because that's been exposed. But I saw on the whole BLM, I saw somebody had an archive page of what they originally were for on that page and they took it down, but this guy archived it and it said in there that the whole effort and goal of BLM was to destroy the nuclear family and to bring in uh, more a modern family with more trans community. And they took that down off their off their website. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense because they utilized that whole BLM thing and it had nothing to really do with black people. It had to do with emotion, but it had a bigger agenda behind that. So I I, I, I just, I, that junk, made, it made my skin crawl down when I think about it, you know what I'm saying? Not to say I'm getting on anybody, not to say I'm against going against anybody i'm for what god is for but it's certain things that we are black people are not privy to because we won't read a lot of times so we'll just go um and this person says toodle toodles k says my dad say always right here right there and this is in regards can y'all see to what we're reading too just fy um say yes leave a Yes, no, can you see they, stuff? Well, it's, it may be small to them. Is it tiny to y'all or is it like regular size? My dad always said I'd use a $10 word when a quarter one would work. Thomas Sowell does the same thing. <laughs> 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 well, you know, that's what many scholars do. <laughs> And they go to school and they get all this education and they learn and they, you know, do the research that the average Joe Blow is just not willing to do because they really know how to research. Just going to pull up information is not true research. But when they really do the research, I mean, I, I ain't even mad at them. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes when I'm listening to Thomas Sowell, I really have to kind of like. No, even some, the guy I, that's I, asking I, the question. He was like, is it indicative of the constitutional the guy of equality you the, be like huh the huh? guy the guy that's asking the my questions head, babe, really babe, babe. you the remember guy, how we used to talk truth our dog and she when she don't understand right the guy that's really asking the questions <laughs> really is what throws me off because yeah. he asks the question so jargon based it doesn't leave room for thomas soul to really respond in layman's term he's gonna respond based off the way the question was asked i was like ugh. I, I really have focus, to hear. Focus. Yeah, I, I really like to hear information broken down just in sim, more in a simplistic form. Even if it's long, let it be simple and and modern day readable. Because that's just like when I go and read my read my Bible. I don't read the King James version because I really want to understand what I'm reading. But um, mm -hmm. the Constitution represents federal laws opposed to statutory describing the structure, organ, organization, duties, and power to the federal government, not the people. The Bill of Rights makes sure. Mm, okay. okay 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 well we definitely gonna do our homework because that's something that i wanted to uh just dive into a little bit more for my own self it makes me think about behold a pale horse because well that's different I, no 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 it is different but it's still like you think about there's a he was writing about the body not the people he was writing about the the you know gr the groups that that run stuff not the people that we're just a result of after uh, things that have been running mm -hmm. but um anyway that, that i'm sorry that that um went off on a tangent what is Catherine saying go back i want to go to, i want to see some of those other videos that we go, that we did oh um, i know but i want to read her comment go back up that's the last one on that one where is it down there okay you do want to read the thickest one don't you what I think he was saying is the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. We can only change it when we have a bill passed through Congress and Senate. Then we have amendments. Obama was was trying to circumvent the Constitution and instead having the judges decide how to rule. In other words, if the judge didn't agree with the law, he could just decide based on his feelings. So was just reiterating that the judge's jobs are not to make decisions based on feelings, but to make decisions based on the laws and always making sure the Constitution is not violated. Uh-huh. Okay. 
if we went the way of uh, Obama, then we might as well burn the Constitution. Mm. In my opinion, it would be a hor- It would be horrible because judges are human. They are sometimes appointed. I can't. I uh, must be um, humane, maybe. I can't imagine the nightmare of both the left and right having judges in their pockets because they may be in the same party. We always have a Supreme Court divided between parties now and they never agree on anything. Their only job is to make decisions based on the Constitution, but they have very different interpretations. But at least we have them. The judicial system was formed separate to keep the government in check. I agree. I hope I explained it okay. I'm not very good at that. My words never seem to be clear. Very good, Catherine. Yeah. I, I dig that. Yeah. Thanks for that reiteration. Okay, your turn. Uh, somebody said they you know, they dropped a time drop on the video. Oh, we. So the swing voters who helped Barry become president in 08, who was Barry? And then abandoned him for misrepresenting himself and then went on to vote for Trump. Oh, okay, in 2016. And all of a sudden, all of those labels. Okay, let's see. Well, um, that's a, is, that, I mean, he, is he asking or is telling? I don't know. Because that's, there's a question mark I, behind I, his I, comment. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that one. Um, okay. Period. Okay. Anti everything. Mm, let's go down. Let's keep going down. Let me see what else. Looking for some content. Looking looking for some content here that's been said um, according to one of these videos. Oh, let's read this read one. It says, what I like most about people like this woman. This is still talking about. Okay, let me read. What I like yeah. most about pe- people like this woman is how they attempt to display themselves as anti-black or racist and how they think about this every day and talk and tweet about it so they are part of the solution. Mm-hmm. Yet, before this point, she already... Absolved. absolved herself by stating that racism equals prejudice plus power so she can't be racist this kind of controversial paradox is a clear indication of the intellectual dishonesty they bring forward mm-hmm. or reinforce by the redefinition of words to suit their narrative agree mm. agree a good, a good example of redefining words is what i already wrote her wrote here the new racism being prejudice plus power what is wrong? Racism, that is wrong. That is wrong. Racism is prejudice based on ethnicity only. If you have legislation based on their prejudice, does power enter the discussion? They call systematic racism like affirmative action. Yeah, it's like that is like the new thing. Like everything is just racist. Yeah, everything's racist. I was. Um... Oh, you don't want to. You don't want me to have these kind of um, LGBT, LG, elemental PQ. Yeah. Um, stuff in this in the books, then you're racist. Her, you're racist and a bigot. Her outlook and, is, you know, not the most optimal. I don't like the way she's her lens is and how she's but streamlining that's the lens the, that they the have over there. Yeah, I don't like her base. How she's formulating all of her conclusion based off of this, you know, what rate what racist is and how she can't be a racist. You know, I was like, oh come on, that's not. You swear, man, if you listen to folks, you swear black folks are getting beat up in the street like hot cakes. Like you just go outside and just some black dude is knocked over the head on the ground. Man, come on, bro. That is not going down like that. And I'm going to tell you something, man. Even even when I was in my younger days, I ain't never seen that. And I used to have a lot of hood homeboys. I wasn't in the street, but I used to hang around a lot of people. And I ain't never seen the, the stuff that these people be talking about going on. I don't know what they talking about and where they talking about that. This person reacted to uh, that's an old oh, that's free old. birds. Ain't going, ain't going it's, about but ten years ago. I know, but it's like wow. Appreciate you. Thank um, you for. But I appreciate it. Comment. Hey, so what? Like again, man. What else do y'all want us to see us react? Educational, political. What else y'all want to see us do? We've been doing the Thomas Soul. Y'all like the Soul. What else y'all want us to do on top of that? Um, because I don't want to wear y'all out. We educate. We enjoying it. Yeah, like we're learning. Them, but, but we're learning. What do y'all want? Um, we're learning. Replace the word anti-blackness with sin, and it clicks really well, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. 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 Um, let's go. Uh, let's see. Let me see. I'm trying. Let me look for something on him. That's funny. But I agree. Don Lemon has more white privilege than most white people in the country. That's by Michael Scoggins. <laughs> he, does. he does. White privilege, white privilege. But you are so white. You so white, black privilege, bro. Get out of here. Lee. Get out of here, man. I'm so tired of Don Lemon, bro. I'm so tired of Don Lemon. 
Uh, hey, Pamela. Yes, thank you. We love you too, and yeah, we do. We do watch. Our oh yeah, YouTubers, yeah, for sure, for most sure. definitely. For sure, we do watch. I mean, are you talking about Pamela? Are you talking about people that that react into the react to the same stuff we do, or you t are you just talking about YouTubers in general? I always know most YouTubers. Not just probably about ninety nine percent of them watch other YouTubers. <laughs> There's no shortcut under the Constitution. Pay attention to punctuation. Back then, they frequently wrote compound complex sentences since, since they had to get it right. Since they had to get it right on the first time. Yeah, I believe it, but whoo, it'd be going on my head. Some some writing. So I really what I'll do is sometimes I'll go in and I will um, I'll reread it or I'll go look them and, and Google it and see what this means so that I can have a full understanding. Yeah, those compound complex sentences, Richard, ain't no joke. That's Rich, I'm from area. the South. <laughs> That's my area when it comes to language arts and all that good Not stuff. Mine. But for sure, most definitely. I'm just glad he kept it real. He's like, there is no shortcut to understanding the Constitution. No, yeah. <laughs> and that's what I was looking for. Yeah. I wanted a shortcut. <laughs> but you know what? That's why I have to pull up a people's videos. Note. And you've got some people that have videos and they'll break it down with this means. This or what mean. about a cliff's note? A cliff, a cliff snow, a, a cliff uh, note. Are there cliff snow for the Constitution? A That's like a short, a shortcut, a paragraph. Like how it summarizes a book. Oh, like cliff notes for uh, Shakespeare. Yeah. Cliff notes for yeah. whatever the book is. Yeah, yeah. So it's good to know. You know what I like? I like the Constitution, but I really like the amendments. I really like to read those. And I remember in the past, man, a couple years ago, I've been like, yeah, we need to redo stuff. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Because think about it. If you redo it, then you're going to have all these people oh, that, yeah. that are doing Oh, my God. Ooh, it'd be all, it'd be crazy. Hey, Nick, what's going on? Hey, hey, hey. Glad you joined us. Now, we're just chiming in your comments and just talking to you guys back and forth in the comment section, as well as reading comments that you guys have posted um, in regards to, you know, our videos and just talking about them, read them, getting your feedback and seeing what, um, new you may want us, um, to react to. Yeah. I want, I want to, cause we, we really enjoy this content, but we don't want to burn you out with just one particular, um, thing that we react to. So what other things political do y'all want to include that, um, you've always want to see on our channel? And pre preferably, we would like it to be something that is a big topic. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Right, David. He said, Trump is the only man who can stand up to them. DeSantis is worth less than a half a million dollars. He not gone. He not got big boy pants. He need yeah, lay back and be, vice and be vice president for Trump. Candace can be in the cabinet. Right. I feel you yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So he's pretty much, I guess, saying DeSantis ain't going to step up because he, 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 he a little scared. His his dough ain't like Trump's dough, I guess. Oh, interesting. Who, what, you, what else you reading? Hey, Seaborn Snapper, I have some questions. What do you already know about reparation payments that have been paid to any other group? Payments, when, which group, amounts, who paid, and the reason for the payments. I don't know anybody. All I know is um, the whole reparations thing is trash to me now. Once I learned how vast slavery was. So, I mean, I... I I'm not, well, wait I'm a not. minute. There has been rep. We, I, well, well, so I do know about reparations when it comes got, to the Native Americans. Oh yeah. So when it comes to Native but Americans, they get it cash or did they get? It's like well, we know that they have land, and there are certain laws that protect them to be able to have their well, that's own. Like, that's like cash. Their own. Um, their own tribal well any mounds but there are certain lands that still are considered mounds. They have right to that. Like you can't take um, certain property. Or certain, yeah, when it comes to a property, I know that if this is the land for um, Indians, then these are the laws. This is, they have rights to this. And even when it comes to governing governing, and policing, yeah, there's only a certain amount that the police will be able to do when coming onto this property right. because this is the land of the Native, Native Americans. So I do know about those reparations, Abel's journey. And that's a great question. You know what? And that's something that I don't have a problem looking at because this is, you know, we're learning, so I have no problem like saying some, I'm not an expert at this. There's some tribal land I rolled up on one time, and I was like, man, this would be a good spot to build. Like, it was just a beautiful piece of land. And then this lady came out the house. She was like, nope, that's that's Indian reservation. So unless you got, and then that land, that that Indian reservation land, probably worth a ridiculous amount of money because it's always in these spots where you like, whoa, like I wish if I owned that little land, like I could put my house right there. Mm -hmm. But um. 
What's the constitution? I'm in the UK. Oh, okay. You said you're in the okay, you're in the UK. Um, Richard might have to. I think Richard Martin could explain it to you. Well, to the, the constitution the is pretty much <laughs> a, 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 an well, articles and in, in, um, a document that states out pretty much what is hum- supposed to be how humans and the rights of humans in America pretty much and this states out how people should be treated what the rights are and it shouldn't be based off of color skin color any of that I don't think oh is that what it is? that's what the constitution is it's a document that's supposed to let let people know the rights of you I mean of humans it's not supposed I mean even though when it was created we know it they technically weren't talking about they weren't considering african-american people as humans but as chattel so it was still talking about how humans should be treated and the rights of humans and how you should govern and what your legalities are that's what the constitution is so let's keep reading um let me see something that we in with oh this from the unlearn relearn when the white man discovered this country indians were running it no taxes no debt and the women did all the work white man thought he could approve improve on a system like that that was by Mason Steele. Well, I mean, that's true. And then a lot of people were already here moving back and forth and traveling. I mean, I'm, well, people that could afford to travel, that mm-hmm. could travel, traveled here. I do know that. This person said, Jesus Christ, anti-racism is just Marxism. Marxist, Marxist double speak for anti-white. You guys should know this stuff by now. Absolutely not lards, it jeans. This is a, a there. This area is so vast. I'm not even about to try to wrap my mind around Marxist constitution, um, slavery. You know, it's so many things that, and this goes way back. So we're learning. I know um, what Kate said. If you are pro gun, you should check out Ben Shapiro on on Pierre Morgan, Pierce Morgan. Okay, yeah, we're definitely pro gun. Definitely pro gun. And where we are living out here, and um, we're outside of LA. So when you get away from LA, that's when real life begins. Personally, that's how I feel. Um, and it's more, it's more pro gun out on the outskirts of where we are. You can go hold on. I'm gonna write this down because I'm gonna have an answer for Abel's journey on one of our videos. We about reparations. Which oh, I don't know. Okay, groups, okay. Uh huh. And amounts who paid? Okay. Just screenshot. It, just screenshot. It. What is a woman on the What is a woman? Isn't that called indecent exposure? It used to be. It, it was used against the law. Wow. I wouldn't want to see yet alone my child. Yeah, that What is a woman thing threw me off. I was like, What is? The, I didn't understand all the hype. What people talk about when I saw it? I was like, Man, this don't make any sense. When did we get to a state and point in life no. when, when it was a problem defining defining the simplicities of things? Well, right. People make it overly complicated, to, and it really isn't to fit to fit that person. Yeah, there. I mean, we we could go on and on all day as to what someone will try to make something be just because they want it to be that. But we know the truth. You're only born male or female. So period. Watch how That's so, it. watch how soon people want to fight you over. You know, it's just the starting point of this. Watch how soon that become a big old issue. Well, don't call me a woman. Watch out, watch out, it be a big old issue. Um, so these really a lot of comments on our last videos. I'm gonna see what about some of the older stuff. Bad things that were, this is Mike Carver. Bad things that were done to black people were done by Democrats. Biden's best friend in the Senate was Robert Byrd who was a member of the KKK. When integration of schools became law, George Wallace, the Democratic governor of Alabama, stood on the steps of Alabama and said that they were not going to school at Alabama. The Republican Party didn't really exist till Abraham Lincoln. Okay. This person said, wait a minute, so this video is about the um, these gender identity terms this reality is is broken and i want to refund i, I think they were, what... i think they were talking about it to this new reality of you know you call somebody gender 
fluid or something. Yeah. We cisgender and okay. you know, that is but it is. It's weird. It, refund, it's weird. You want to refund <laughs> on the re, on this re reality that's been created. Oh, okay. Um, let me see. Eminem him kill the track. That's super old. That's a super old video. I want to see. I want to. Y'all want to do more. Y'all want to do Ben Shapiro stuff. I see it on there, but it's only. It's like certain things I'll do that y'all like, and then I'm like, okay, they, they might really like this, and then 166 people yeah, look at it. Um, Oops, go ahead, my bad. What? Which, which one are you looking at? No, I was just scrolling. So the Donald Trump 1988 Oprah show, he said the same thing in 2016. What happened is he got tired of people he used to help trying to destroy him. The very politicians in Washington trying to destroy him used to call him friend. He was a Democrat back then. I didn't know that. When he decided to run as a Republican, they tried to destroy him. He promised to get rid of fraud in Washington. So all the Democrats and some of the Republicans tried to destroy him. His daughter and Hillary's daughter were friends. That didn't stop Hillary from setting him up to look like a traitor with the Russian collusion hoax randomly pick rally speeches of, of his on right side broadcast sometime anytime anytime during the lead up to 2016 up to 2020 on the odds that you will have seen one since then they air the full thing not edited and out of context the thing with him is he refused to be anyone's punching bag if you talk crap about it or he to him he would talk back yeah. I will say that because if, when you used to look at um, CNN on the um, CNN, they'd be talking about it, you get that one clip and it, it would paint that man so bad. You'd be like, man, go look over there, dude crazy. And then actually they just wouldn't show it. That's just how they do in the media. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't show it. Yeah. Let me see what else on there. What else? What else? What else? Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm learning that. Yeah. What about about Biden. about Biden? Biden? Yeah, I see. Yeah. The racism. Yeah. Yeah. You know how that picture is being painted. Okay, got one about the vaccines. I'm from the old days, and that said, all vaccines were good for us. I stood in line while my parents and grandparents to eat the sugar cube. I took the the TB the TB vax. Did it makes those. Did it make those disease go away? Yeah, they did. Still, I agree with Candace on this one. We all can get the facts really quick. Thanks for showing this video. Yeah, Richard says, how can those who never suffered the torment, degradation, anguish, despair, and indignity of slavery demand reparations? Most don't take the time to learn the names of their slave ancestors. Yeah. Mm, yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Let me see. That's something that we haven't done is gotten our um Somebody said it's on the, the Thomas Soul versus Trevor Noah slave on slavery and reparation. If you were weaker than your neighbor, you were enslaved. That's the gist mm -hmm. of it. The weaker groups, the bigger groups just ran them over. Bam. Mm -hmm. Wow. Go back. What say? The woman king ignores the fact that they were the single most prolific slavers that never once beat a European force, but sold hundreds of thousands Ooh. of slaves Ooh. and were eventually beat, then sold as slaves. Wow. You know, wow. but you know, the movies aren't going to talk about that. Of course gonna, not. If, if their picture is going to be painted a certain way, they're not going to show about what's being said about the woman king, how it was actually, it made some, Based on that comment, now I really need to read about the woman king. And I want to see because, the movie still. It's yeah, still the, showing up as a preview. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying it's still it's the movie is going to paint a picture like all oh, the great things, but apparently this it wasn't so well, great. No, but I mean that a lot of the you know I'm not going to say fiction, but it's you know if it come out it's of not Hollywood, a docu it's going to be painted. It's a not a docu way. it's not a documentary. If it's it come really out of Hollywood, it's going to be painted a certain way. It's really talking, really wanting to show you another powerful aspect of, of African women warriors. Yet they don't really dig deep like Roots. I was listening to something on, I don't know what. Roots. Oh, so I know what. Clip. 
I'm listening to um, Think and Grow Rich, The Black Choice, and Dennis Kimbrough talks about, he uses Alex. He's talking about a lot of black historians, and I was like, from Madam C.J. Walker to Colin Powell to quite a few people who are, you know, they're, how they got from where they were to being, you know, wealthy. And he talked about um, Alex, the man that wrote, what's his, Alex Haley, who wrote Roots. And I was thinking to myself, a myth, a myth. I did not know a myth. that Roots. So that's fiction. He Roots. wrote a fictional book. And But the thing is, when he wrote Roots, that's what they were showing us in school. I was in um, ninth grade. And it's like, and oh, tried, you know how, you know, they, you know how they pulled, they rolled the TV out into the classroom. It used to be the TV that just sit on the cart. Cut the lights off and watch everybody get get mad watching Roots. Roots and Birth of a Nation. But um, but Roots, I did not know that junk was fake. They'll believe anything. Just I mean, like everything about them. it. They were like, because they that's that's paints the narrative of of why we are who we are in this country. And then they're like, and we're gonna cool. change this picture today. Oh yeah, we're I'm gonna change. Tired it. of looking at that. Bye, 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 bye. Um. Sargon, Sargon, Sargon. Again, what y'all want to see us more do of, man? So we gonna be, I guess, get ready to chime in. We've been on for a minute. Get ready to chime out. I'm getting a little hungry. I'm getting a little hungry. I'm just looking through. I'm gonna look through a couple more real quick, and then we just want to chime in, read some of these comments on live. Because our goal is to continue to go live once a week, and we know we hit. We typically do it earlier in the week, but. We um, did not have a chance to this week. A lot of things were coming up, but we wanted to definitely make sure we chimed in. This is best. Only video on history. Okay, I'm going to have to look at that. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to look at that. How old is Thomas old now? About 90, he about not Thomas old, about 98 years old. Person, um, trying to get some of the old stuff, but it, it's common and it's showing all the most of the, the um the latest ones. Let's see. And again, man, I want to shout out to my all my veterans. I don't know if you heard me before, man. We appreciate you, man. Um, God love you. We love you. Let's see. What did it say? What I'm like. Agreed. The, D. Moore said, agreed. The fact that anyone thinks gun control will help anything is crazy. Like a criminal is going to take the legal route anyway. Right. right. Even if we did somehow remove gun violence by banning them, the killing would continue. People would simply use knives, and cars like they do in Britain. I just was just about to say, if someone, just like in Britain, if someone wants to hurt someone, they will hurt yeah. someone. The only thing we can do is protect ourselves. Stay strapped, people. He <laughs> <laughs> said, I'll, I'll never let myself become an easy victim to forever. Yeah, I agree, man, because we just, so, you know, we're in California, so California has some of the strictest freaking gun laws. Like, you go look at, they got, in California, we got this, like on, on assault rifles, you got this big thing where you can't grip it because it's an assault rifle. So you have to hold them like, you can't hold a gun like this. Like you can't, you have to, you kind of, <laughs> it's it's dumb. And I don't think it makes no sense because California got these laws. And if there's ever a time you need to use that gun, what if I, you run up against the person that, that don't have that little piece on the back of their ass? You done. But anyway, I believe in, yeah, keeping yourself strapped. Guns are good. Um, it's the it's the mind of the person, not the weapon. So hey, Pero, shout out to you. You said you can't sleep. It's two twenty five in the morning in Finland. Shout out to you. Can't sleep. Yeah, we were just shouting, commenting, shouting you guys out, and engaging in conversation on comments that you guys have left on certain certain videos. So that's it. We're just up. Yeah. Commenting Richard, and engaging with you guys. Rich said when you. When Roots came out, my grand uncle was telling me his father was a slave. After a DNA test went out to discover my family history, I now have a slave record 
from 1852 with my my great, gr great, great grandfather, grandfather Lisa. That's what we're wow. going to do. We're going to go and look yeah. at these records and look and see who who our people were. Um, and even other races that I may not even know. I mean, I mean, I know that in regards to my dad's side, but I'm really curious to in interested to know the specific tribes of Indian that is on my mom's side of the family. So I'm, I'm really interested as well as my black African ancestry. Yeah. I really want to know the tribes of where that lineage goes from. Your, your folks came from two places, Africa and the, and the, um, and high in Switzerland. And England. At first they said it was Germany, but they, after doing the ancestry, and my cousins doing the history it was england so i'm curious to see that's why i want to do Joyce, the dna you, you, you blight you you blight, i want to do the dna huh all right so all right y'all so let me close this <laughs> we just wanted to comment on a few live man we actually we really appreciate y'all jumping on here with us um we're actually getting ready to record some videos for y'all, but we just want to jump on this live and we said, hey, I mean, let's comment, let's comment and read these comments together. So sometimes we can't get together and be able to read our comments, but this was perfect that we were able to come to be able to sit together and read our comments together because we record videos and we do about 100 things. That's right. So thanks for chiming in, guys. We love you. Appreciate all of your comments and uh, we'll see you. See you soon. See you on the live for next week. And we're definitely going to check out some of these videos and do some more research. Yeah. And then I'll do a, I'm, I'm still going to do another thorough dive through the comment section. See what y'all like. I see some links that were dropped in there. I'm going to check everything out. Um, and like I said, man, keep giving us stuff to do. Um, educational that y'all want us to learn and, and uh, we can react to. You got, you got an assignment and I got an assignment. So that's that. All right. Okay. We'll All right, guys. Man. Love you. See you in the next video. Love y'all, man. We oh, appreciate on the next live. See you on the next live. If you, and if you missed this one, hop on so you can come and We're engage with us every week and and chat with us. That's right. And we're doing giveaways, too. So just be on the lookout. You're going to have to be on the live to, to be able to get access to the giveaway, the live giveaway. That's right. Let's go.